Hi, this is Jeffy, and welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. In this video, we're going to take continue our look at Hugging Face and see how to use the built-in tokenizers that Hugging Face has to do subword tokenization to take our text and prepare it for natural language processing. So we're going to use Collab for this. We don't need Collab Pro. I'm just using that there. It works just fine in the free version. You'll probably want to use the GPU for maximum speed. I have a link to the GitHub repository in the description. Just click on that and you can click Open and Collab. Then you can actually run this. I'm going to run this code here that just sets up TensorFlow 2. It's the same in all of the, the modules for this course. And tokenizers, we're going to look at how we can break these types of sentences into words, or actually subwords, because we want to break common suffixes away as well, and, and, and prefixes, depending, depending on the model. Is this can be complicated. There's semicolons, there's commas in here. It's not quite as straightforward as splitting on the, on the spaces. Let's go ahead and run this. We're going to install Hugging Face. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this so you don't have to watch it all install. We are going to make use of the Distilbert base uncased. So this is a tokenizer that breaks the words and subwords apart without taking into consideration case. We're going to go ahead and run this because it needs to download that model. Okay, that's complete. And we're going to tokenize this very simple sequence. Tokenizing text is easy. You can see the input IDs are presented here. You'll notice that it's bookended with 101 and 102. We'll see that those are special tokens in a moment. You'll also see the attention mask. And this is just really specifying what's not padding. It's going to be zero or one. One means it's important. Zero means it's padding. This is not really the attention matrix like you see in attention is all you need transformers, but this is really just saying what elements here are not just padding. Then we can take those input IDs that we have up here and turn them back into tokens. And this is very revealing. You'll see that CLS starts. That's the starting magic token. That means that a sequence is starting. SEP means that the sequence is ending. And then we have token. And notice it's dropping all of the case. Token, which is the main part of the word. Stem, I believe. And izing. So ing sometimes is a common suffix, but izing apparently comes up a lot as well. So that gets to have its own suffix token. Text is easy, period. So the period is tokenized separately, and then we put in the sep at the end to let us know that we have reached the end of the sequence. So the special magic tokens that there are, what, what are those? What's going on with that? Here I put in some of the values that I know are special magic tokens. Now, different models, different tokenizers could have different indices. This is just for the Distillabert one that I'm using. And we can see what each of these becomes. Zero becomes pad, 100 unknown, CLS, SEP, and mask. We know that CLS and SEP are the bookends that start and end it. Unknown is just a unknown token. It happens. Mask is a special one. You can put masks in there, and it's, it's like fill in the blank. It asks the neural network then to guess what goes in where the mask is. And then there's the padding, which occurs when you're forcing these to all be of the same length. Then padding necessarily comes in. So here we'll see an example of that. I have, this movie was great, exclamation point. I'm sort of trying to emulate movie reviews here. And I'm going to tokenize it and display the results. So here you can see those three movie reviews that I put in. Notice the padding at the end, 000000. 000, 000. 
And notice the one in the middle. This is the long pole in the tent. It does not have any padding because it's the lengthiest sequence. It's got the 101, 102 as bookends, but it does not have any padding like the others. And you'll notice the ones that have padding do have an attention mask with all zeros saying that, that it's padding, that it, it doesn't matter. The input IDs, these are all just IDs to look up that particular word in the dictionary or subword. And those are really your, your values. So basically from breaking apart all of those movie reviews, you're getting the word IDs and subword IDs all specified right here with attention mask to show you what is actually needed. Some of the parameters that you can use up here, like padding says that we do want that zero padding and add special tokens. Yeah, we want to do that. These are the main ones that you have here. Maximum length does you allow you to specify a maximum length. That, if you specified it longer than this long pole one, then all of these would have zeros at the end. So that's an overview of how to make use of tokenizers in Hugging Face. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in natural language processing, artificial intelligence, and just want to follow along with the deep learning course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a like if it was helpful to you. Thank you very much.